Hello, welcome to Meow Club, making another Fantasica video because lots of people have been requesting more videos and I haven't been able to make any for a while. Um, so this one's about putting together a guild team and it's a guild war at the moment so I can show you how this works. So what I've done, I've disbanded my team because it will give you a default team of the highest uh, attack power units you have. Um, so it will automatically put that together for you but depending on their speed and their range and so on and so forth, you may not want to use that uh, default team. So uh, let's say I'm putting together a defense team. So. Um, one important thing to bear in mind, um, it won't say all of your unit stats here, but their range will affect where they are on the battlefield. So most melee units um, will be on the front line to be attacked. So let's say um, we've got all these units at the top here. We've got Coral, Axana, Arana, Raymond. Let's say that they... Um, all have the same range which they do roughly so they're all going to be on the front line now Raymond has a drain skill which means he can recover health by hitting enemies so for a defense team he's well he's very good for attack but he's great for defense too so if I put him up here then he's going and if I assign him to defense and all the ones below him sorry I haven't explained this very well I'm gonna start again so I want Raymond to be the first unit who's getting hit because he's got drain skill which is useful to recover health so I'm gonna put him here on this side and then let's put an iron wall unit like Aksana and right underneath him now these guys have roughly the same range but Raymond will be the one who's hit first because I've placed him at the top so the order in which you place them from top to bottom and left to right also affects where they are on the field if their range is the same so now let's I'm gonna play some defense so let's put Bajardo. Um he's got iron wall which is means if the enemy tries to hit you that hit gets disregarded so he's a great unit to have in defense and let's have another iron wall unit let's have Mimas I haven't max leveled her yet but I will do very soon so here I've got a drain unit at the top and he's going to, if he gets hit, he'll hopefully suck his health back up from any enemies that he hits. Um, then we've got three iron wall units. They're all melee. And they're all quite high speed, which means uh, they'll get to go first in the attack. Um, the problem with having all melee units who are all short range is that on the battlefield they'll all be on the same front line. And some skills like um, Stone Breath will disable every unit that's on the front line or on a certain line. So you really, if you can, it's good to space out your units over two or three lines. So because of that, I'm going to put in QXQ. Now she's, her, her range is, I can't remember if it's 175 or 200, but she's on the back row. And she has a Penta attack, I believe it's called, or Tetra attack, which means she can hit a unit five times um, as her arena skill. Yeah, it's Penta attack. So if I set all these guys to defense, which is what I'm going for, um, on the battlefield they will look like there'll be four in a front row and then QXQ will be behind them. So these iron wall guys and drain guys are great for protecting her so if you're playing defense in your guild that's a really good formation to have um, probably the best way to improve it would be by spacing the units out a bit more so 
I could change one of these iron wallers over to Tristis. Her range is about 150. You'll need to look in your album to find this out, by the way. And um, so now I've got Tristis in there. Those guys will be spread across three layers. So if somebody uses Stone Breath on me, they'll only be able to take out the front layer. But Stone Breath's quite a rare skill at the moment, so I think I'm going to stick with Mimus. So that's a really nice defense team I've got there. And I've used up quite a lot of um, my total cost. It's 135 out of 200. So let's add Charles. He's a great six star because he's firstly got S speed, which is the fastest speed you can get in the game. And he's got double attack arena skill and he's only 10 deploy cost so he's a great unit to fill up the rest of your deploy points with Coral she's a great unit she's only 20 DC and she's pretty strong she's got speed order arena skill um, hmm. let's use Tristus She's 25 cost and she's quite a nice unit. What's her skill? I can't remember. Let's see. Lag. Sorry guys, my internet's not very good at the moment. Okay, finally, sorry about that. So I've got eight units at the moment, and um, <clears throat> I've got ten deploy cost left. So I'm going to show you a bit of a secret of Fantasica. Um, this four star unit called Scarlet. I think she's a pirate queen or something like that. But she is, um, I haven't max leveled her yet, but she's 10 deploy cost and her guild attack power is actually um, higher than many 5 stars. So she's a great unit. If you're thinking of, if you need to fill up 10 DC, um, she's got D speed, I don't think she has any skills. Oh, she's got critical shot arena skill, which is really useful. So she's a very powerful, she's not a very good card outside of Guild War, but in Guild War she's great, so what a perfect way to fill up my team there. So as you can see, my attack team is kind of weak, uh, but my defense team is very strong. Um, I'll be back in a minute. Hello, welcome back to Meow Club. Sorry, I had to answer the door. Um, so, I have made this great defense team, and I'm probably going to deploy in mid. Now, defense gives you higher skill but lower attack and also if you deploy in mid the enemy is gonna hit you before they hit the defense and it's a pretty good place to be with um, a lot of iron wall units because you're just gonna stop them in their tracks so anyway that's uh, how to make a good defense team obviously you might not have the same units that I have um, available but you can probably find some similar units that are good um, there's a really great five star unit called Bernhard this guy here he's like a lion um, with a crown <laughs> and he's 25 deploy cost he's got C speed he's got really really high attack 
for a, a 5 star and he also has Iron Wall which is really great skill for defense in Guild War. Um, okay thanks for watching I'm gonna make another video now about how to make a good attack team so you can come and watch that too and depending what position you're playing in Guild War you should be able to put together a great team. Bye bye.